Good morning and welcome to Free From Friday. I'm Karen in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. I have the lovely Simon on camera again. Thank you very much, Karen. <laughs> you remembered me. I did, I did. <laughs> and I remembered the day as well, didn't I? I got a bit, bit befuddled last night on the live. And I have the lovely Lynn in the kitchen. Hello there, Lynn. Hi. She doesn't, she doesn't live very far, so she's just, she's just jaunted in to have a quick look and say hello, haven't you? Uh-huh. You're going to take a little bit of Sisley's cake home with you. Hopefully. Oh, yes. We <laughs> saved it. So, uh, who caught the live this morning at half past nine when Cicely cut into her cake? Wasn't it an amazing live last night? I was in awe of the way she had the sponge cake with the gorgeous cheesecake frosted around it and then encased it all in that jelly with all that fresh fruit. If you didn't catch the live from last night or the um, the quick live from this morning, it was only 15, 20 minutes this morning, just showing Cicely unwrapping the one she did live last night and then cutting into the cake, you can catch them on our Facebook channel or on the YouTube channel. Um, so... Good morning to Sheila Hudson. She gets the special hello today. You've got the special salmon. Hello there, Sheila. Good morning. Um, and Georgie Godbold hopes I behave today. How well, so behave? <laughs> well, Badly. Well, yeah, we do. We, 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 the, the jury's out on that, isn't it, Georgie? He doesn't behave goodly or goodly all the time. <laughs> Right, so we are going to make today vegan pineapple upside down cakes. I know I made them last year, but they went down such a treat, and I've not made them for ages. And it's just a gorgeous, to me, it just shouts summer out again. A gorgeous, lovely pineapple flavoured sponge with the pineapple ring on the top and the glacier cherry. And then you could have that with ice cream, you could have it with fresh cream, or you can have it with a good old favourite custard. So I'm going to make those again today. But because I'm making them live and they have to go in the oven and cook and then have to cool down a little bit before I can get them out of the tin, I've got half an hour to think, oh, what can I do? So I'm actually going to melt some chocolate down again and I'm going to make the car because somebody was asking yesterday on my live on the chocolate, could I do the Porsche car? So you know what? Today, because I've got a bit of time to kill while the things are coming out of the oven, We'll do the Porsche car, and if I get a chance, I'll do the bike for you as well, the motorbike. Because these are the two that everyone seems to love, and especially with it being Father's Day on Sunday, and a lot of people have bought these moulds, and they're great, they're great for Father's Day, they're great for um, if you've got anybody's special birthdays, who are, I know a lot of people who are into motorcycles and sports cars, so they're absolutely amazing these, they're on, available on the website. Uh, if we haven't got the portion, Carol has ordered it and we are just waiting for it to arrive. But I just thought I'd show you how we could work it and how you can do it. And then when you get your own chocolate Porsche mould, away you go making that. Another great thing today, all our whipping it up in the new bags. Look at their new bags. Are out on the website and John and Carol, the are you doing? I know. The RRP price is $5.99, but John and Carol are selling it to you for $4.99 a bag. How good is that? And look here. We have got our two new flavours. We've got strawberries and cream and coffee. Can I feel pavlovas coming up and fluff? Oh, I can. Coffee fluff. In, oh, coffee fluff inside um, the uh, the chocolate for doing like the tea cakes or for doing the the uh, whipping it up uh, whipping it up whirls. How good coffee pavlova. Oh, strawberries and cream, strawberries and cream pavlova, strawberries and cream meringue. Oh, the the it's endless, isn't it? Uh, macrons. Oh, imagine making some macrons with the coffee. Oh. Yes, and then filling it with coffee flavored uh, Swiss brown buttercream or buttercream. Oh, yeah, yum, yum. So these are the two new flavours, which is strawberries and cream and coffee, to go with our other seven flavours. So we have nine flavours now of whipping it up. I'll just quickly tell you, as you know, strawberries and cream, coffee. Then we have lemon drizzle, strawberry milkshake, salted caramel, velvet vanilla, coconut, raspberry ripple, white chocolate and raspberry. That's right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was thinking, oh, I'm missing one. No, so we have lovely nine flavours. So who's excited for those? And they are on the website for four ninety nine. Also, don't forget, a lot of you have been taking up the offer of the half-price classes. 
uh, they're all on offer. John said he's going to keep that offer on until the end of the month payday for all you ladies and gentlemen who were thinking, oh, I don't get paid till the end of the month. He is going to keep the offer open until the end of the month for you so you can take, take up and buy some classes because while the half price you can pick some of those classes up for £10 you can pick some of Hannah's classes up for £15 and uh, Claire's and Jerry's and then we've got some classes that were £40 which are now £20 so grab those classes even if you're not going to do them now they're great for you to have there remember they're yours forever and just think of the winter months that are coming along you're going to be kept busy when it's raining and it's cold you can get your class out and you can make your car cake you can you can uh, do your um, the, the introduction to um, wait i think it's the introduction to wedding cake no no the, the introduction to wedding cake and you've got uh, i think you've got uh, george's classes as well oh it's going to be great, isn't it? Yeah. So just look at all those half price classes. Have we got any questions about what I'm making today, Simon? Um, uh, oh. Do you know what? I haven't seen one. So the recipe is on the website. A few people it, saying Cicely's cake was stunning. Oh, it was which, absolutely well, yes, stunning. It was amazing, that, wasn't it? was it? amazing. It was really, really good. I was, I was in awe of... I mean, I've, I've got a, there's a piece in the fridge now and I've just looked at it. It's just the way the jelly is just there with all the fresh fruit inside it and then the gorgeous sponge and it's filled with that velvet vanilla uh, cheesecake frosting. It is divine. So vegan pineapple upside down cakes, the individual ones, because I'm going to make them in the jumbo muffin tin. So then we've got a nice individual individual dessert that you can serve. Rather than cutting in and you're going to get a piece of pineapple, you get the full pineapple, the full cherry, so you don't feel like you've been cheated out of a bit of cherry if you don't get it when you only have one in the centre. So how good is this? And we are going to start with 60 grams of dark brown sugar and 60 grams of margarine and we're going to mix this mix it into it so it's all mixed together because I use this to coat up the side of the tin so we get a beautiful um, that, that sticky sticky outer on it Excuse me, I've just got a tickle coming. <coughs> oh, dear me. Simon says, probably too much talking. But here we go. Not what I said at all. <laughs> <laughs> they know what you like. Right, so we've got that all mixed together there. I have put the oven on. I've preheated the oven now. It's 180 degrees C. Gas mark 4 which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit or it'd be 200 degrees in, in a conventional oven so it's 180 degrees C in the fan oven. So let's make sure, yes, that is heating up nicely. I've got my pastry brush, put that to one side now. Then I've got my pastry brush and I'm just going to brush this Making sure I'm coating the sides. Really well. And a bit on the bottom there because I'm going to put the, the pineapple on the bottom. So I'm just making sure the bottom is all coated as well. Which margarine do you use for vegans? I use the Vitalite one. I've used the one in the tub, which is the Vitalite one, which I will get out for you to show you. I've used this one because it was a nice, it was a soft one. It's a nice soft margarine. So I'm using this one and I'll put the lid on again for you and it's the Vitalite Dairy Free. You, 
make sure these are well coated because the sugar's going to melt in with the margarine and it creates a lovely uh, sticky outside on the Victoria, on the, on the pan of upside down cakes. Good morning, Chip. He's just coming to make sure I'm behaving. Hi. And are you behaving? Yeah, always do. There we go, we've got a nice coat in there. Uh, Paul Baker, Paul is busy bread making today. Oh, I love your bread as well, Paul. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what patterns are you doing today? Um, two sourdough breads. Two crispy white loaves on the second crew, and I'm griddling some English muffins as we speak. He says, "You are? How long will it take you to get down here with a bit of fresh bread and some uh, griddled, <laughs> griddled muffins, please?" <laughs> and the kettle's on. Oh, <laughs> no! I love the smell of fresh bread in the kitchen. Absolutely, I never forget. I did that when I was selling my house many moons ago. Uh, I was, when I was in my own, I was selling my house uh, and I had a bread in the oven baking and somebody told me, you always manage to sell your house if you put the coffee percolator on. <laughs> so I bought, I don't drink coffee, but I bought a coffee percolator. <laughs> Turned it on and I sold the house. <laughs> so as you can see, these are getting a really good coating on the side. is all covered as well yeah take that little bit of excess bit too much sugar in that bit there there we go so we've got those all coated lovely just put those to one side a moment the pineapples um you can if you can't fit the whole ring which i'll bring that over here so i've got the pineapples i'm gonna i've got my gray board here if you can't fit the whole ring in because it's going to bend what you do is you can cut a little piece of the pineapple out just a little piece and when it joins together again that will fit into the bottom so you see that it just fits lovely and snug in the bottom there so you're only cutting out a little bit and these won't go to waste because I'll eat them later you're gonna put something in the middle excuse me just, excuse me just you hold your horses a moment young Simon that's like a nice little space for a cherry there <laughs> do you mean one of these <laughs> And then Does, you can shove that bit of pineapple back in. Doesn't he? Uh, doesn't he always jump the gun, Lynn? Yeah. Doesn't he? Does he? Does he? Oh, okay. So I've got six pineapple rings here. So I'm just cutting a little tiny piece out. sure they're going down to the bottom there we've still got our lovely circle down there so they're all down on the bottom so then I've got my glossier cherries and you know what let's put a full one in yeah. we're being Cheeky. oh we're being we're being devils aren't we you yeah. know there's nothing better than a glacier cherry in a pan of upside down cake so I'm making sure that I'm putting them in the right way so the top of the cherry is well, going no stones in that no these are these are glacier cherries are stoked they've already been stoned so look at these and I'm making sure that I'm putting the cherry where the stalk would come out I'm going upside down with it like that so that when you tip your pan of upside down cakes the cherries are the right way up so that is our base prepared. Claire, Claire Corbett says you need to put me in my place. Thank you, Claire. I know you, you do it beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> so 
He's so cheeky, isn't he? <laughs> right, so that's that done. Keep clean as we're going along. Paul Baker Paul says it's a miserable wet day when well, he's making bread. I don't know where he lives. We haven't got it raining here yet. It's, it's quite humid and close, but um, we haven't had any rain. So I, 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 I do believe that we are expecting some. We're still sort of waiting rain. for the drought to end, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think all you lot down, uh, down the Midlands and down south, I think you've sent it up our way and we are expecting it shortly. Right, I have a mixing bowl. The great thing with this, we don't need to use the mixer. We can just use our mixing bowl and um, my spatula which I will get myself a bigger one <laughs> with my spatula. So into this bowl, I'm going to put this 300 grams of self-raising flour, the 180 grams of sugar and crumbs, beautiful pineapple flavoured icing sugar. What better way of having a lovely pineapple tasting sponge with the pineapple on the bottom, well, it'd be the, it, on the top. So we've got the pineapple icing sugar going in there. And then we have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So yeah, it's very wet now, Sam. It is, is it? Mm. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> but there again, most of the year you I have better weather. very sincere. Well, most of the year you have better weather than us up here anyway, don't you? So, you know, I, I do feel for you, but your gardens are getting watered. They have needed it. I just want to make that's, sure I'm doing this. a sign of you getting old. Yes, I know. So there we go. Like so <laughs> <laughs> we have put the flour, the sugar and crumbs, natural flavoured icing sugar and the baking powder. And I'm just going to mix that until that is all lovely and combined. So I'm just combining the icing sugar, the baking oh. powder and the flour into there. So that's all combined lovely. So then I'm going to pour in the apple juice and the soya milk. And it would help if it said... And the oil, but guess who forgot to get the oil out? Uh, Lynn? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just bear I don't with know. me. Who did forget to get the oil? Everybody forgot to get it out. Everybody forgot to get the oil out. Just bear with me a second. Don't blame me. Yeah. I can blame you, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let me just get my oil out of the cupboard. No, no, Anne. We, we never go home. Do we? And me trust. Don't yes. you ever go home, you oh, two. Oh, no, do we? No, we're no. here. <laughs> Can we just have a look at this? I've got my oil on there. Just bear with me. Do, do, do. Here we go. Just want to make sure... So I'm putting my 200 mils of milk, 222, 220 mils of soya milk, and I have my 80 mils of pineapple juice, which is out of the can. It's what I drained off the pineapple out of the can. So that is going into there. Just want to make sure with the oil there. I was a bit surprised with my oil then. I'm so sorry. And Claire Colbert is wishing Anne Meacher a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Anne. In April. Oh, yeah. Oh, Anne, you were the tinker last night, weren't you? Not last night. It was the and night last, before. No, and last night. Oh, she wasn't claiming it was her birthday again, was <laughs> she? She certainly was. And they're all saying, no, Karen, she's telling fibs, because I was just about to sing to Anne. And then she sent lots of laughing faces back, which I thought, wow. I know. Let me just find that there. I just want to make sure that I don't... I don't know why, it, it says oil, but I've not put oil on the recipe and I can't believe that. She must be about 150 now, she's had that she's, many birthdays. Don't be so rude. <laughs> it's alright. It is 80 mils of... You can, I'm using the pure rapeseed oil. So I'm going to put 80 mils in there. And you can't. Very good. Just let me go off 
put my knife through the top. I just pulled the ring off. There we go. That's fine. I didn't want, this. I didn't want you to watch me put a knife in the top there. I've got my 80 ml, so I'm going to put my pineapple juice in. I'm going to put my soya milk in. And I'm going to put my 80 ml. Seventy-three, ninety-two. There we go. A little bit. It's only eighty mils. There we go. And my eighty mils of oil have gone into that. And then I've got my bigger spatula here to give this a lovely stir round. I'm just gonna. I'm folding it. In. I don't want anything to splash up, so I'm just folding it in. Making sure I'm getting to the very bottom where all the extra flour, icing, sugar and baking powder is there because I want to make sure all the dry ingredients are completely and you can smell the pineapple coming up through that cake batter there, it's beautiful. There we go. So it doesn't matter if you've still got a few little bit lumps in there. the joy of the, uh, the the vegan baking you don't usually have to use the mixer because you are just stirring in oil soya milk as the liquid so you're not creaming anything so look at that now that's lovely and smooth I'll give that a, a good stir there I've got rid of all the little bits and we're going to pour this I'm going to use um I was going to say spoon let's pour this into each now I'm only going to go just to just above halfway so we'll get rid of that big one let's have my my small one back there we go. this is there it is there we go oh so that's where I want to go here we go Just got a little bit left there, so I'll put there a moment. So what I want to do now is just clean my tin up a little bit. Right, there we go. And then I can now put these into the oven for 15 minutes or until the sponge feels lovely and firm. And when I put um, a cake tester or a cocktail stick into the sponge, it'll come out lovely and clean with no batch on it. So I'm going to pop these into the oven now. Here we go, and put the, put the timer on, 15 minutes, absolutely great. Right, and we've got to wait now for 15 minutes. Have we got any birthdays coming up? No, Anne, I'm not speaking to you. That's next April. So what I'm going to do now is, because I didn't manage to do it yesterday on the live, let's look at these. Okay, mixer. Let's look at these, and we're going to melt. Okay, Annette Lawson missed what you coated the tins with. Could you I coated over that? the uh, yes. I had 60 grams of dark brown sugar and 60 grams of vegan non-dairy margarine. Mix that together to make a nice paste, and then use the pastry brush to paste up the sides and on the bottom of the tin, so that it'll create a lovely caramelly coating to it. Um, so it's a nice sticky coating, and you can get them out of the tin. I'm going to melt down our. SNC tempered milk chocolate. I'm going to do that in the microwave. That's why I have the microwave here. So then I can make you a car and make you a motorbike. So for all you who are feeling like you want to buy this, this uh, lovely motorbike and Porsche car, I'm going to show you how to use it. So again, as I said yesterday on the live, 
30 seconds at a time for the microwave. You don't want to over melt the chocolate to make it absolutely red hot and we don't want to burn it. So we only do it 30 seconds at a time. Let's get myself clean. Here we go, I've got myself a clean spatula there just for stirring around the chocolate in a moment. Let's take the pegs off. Give that a shake, you know if you can hear it's still very solid. So another 30 seconds. And then while I'm waiting, these have been through the dishwasher, they're dishwasher safe, they are lovely and, uh, and clean. But I do like to also just give them a little shine on the inside, just so that I get that lovely shiny coat and it'll come out of there beautifully. So it's not wet, it's just a dry piece of cloth, just giving it a polish. Starting to go, so another 30 seconds. So that's nice and polished, now we'll polish the bike. So I'm going to show you the two ways of doing this, because now I've polished the bike, I'm going to put the bike back together. I'm going to put the clips back on it. So the clips are back on the bike. How's my chocolate doing? It's just under halfway melted, so I want to get it just over halfway, then we can give it a really nice stir with that just so the rest of the buttons melt and we're good to go. We don't have to temper this because it's already tempered. It's available in 500 gram bags. It's amazing. And for people who are a bit scared of tempering or don't like tempering chocolate, you just melt it and use it and you still get that gorgeous glossy shine on your chocolate. Uh, yesterday's was amazing. I know I had a lot of people tuning in there and um, we were showing you the new moulds. We have the new um, rainbow mould and the new little caramel. So as you can see, I've still got some buttons there. Still got some buttons there that haven't melted, but that chocolate is quite warm. So I'm just going to just stir it so the buttons are melting within that chocolate and therefore it's cooling it down slightly for me because the one thing I don't want to do is put red hot chocolate into a fridge because it alters the temperature of your fridge straight away. And with it being so humid, I do need to use the fridge to set the chocolate. There we go. So that's melted, it's lovely, it's creamy and smooth. Smells delicious. So there is two ways, because the motorbike, the motorbike, it hasn't got a bottom to it, so I can fill this motorbike and coat it while it's together. Now, the car has a solid bottom, so I've got nowhere to fill the car. So I have to do the car in two sections, and when I've done the final coat, I'll then uh, pin the bottom to the top of the car, so when we take it away, it should come away as one full car. If it doesn't, you can put a bit of melted chocolate into your um, into a little piping bag and just go around the edges and then stick the, uh, the bottom of the car to the top of it. So here we go with the bike first. So I'm going to carefully, I'm going to near enough fill the motorbike. Oops a daisy, there we go. Got my cloth here just to wipe side wasn't looking properly a bit of a drip and then I'm just going to shake I want to just knock it onto the counter because I'm making sure I'm getting the chocolate all into the bottom of the handlebars and the seat so I just want to make sure that's all coated and then I'm just going to carefully go around the motorbike to make sure yeah there we go we're tipping it out that side I'm making sure that that side has been coated then I'm just going to go to this side, give it a whittle so it's getting to all the uh, all the nooks and crannies. So I'm 
just going to leave that there just a second while I just tidy this up just to let it to just to let it to stop dripping because I want then to put that in the fridge just to do the, set the first coat before I coat again. You do have to coat these moulds a couple of times because you want the chocolate quite nice here with a, a nice thick rim on it so it doesn't break when you're taking it out of the mould. Now that has stopped dripping out of the mould. So what I'll do now is just, just clean the edge up a little bit like that, and then that's just going to be popped straight into the fridge now that way up just so it'll dry for me uh, because as I can you can't see here but I, I can see it's a very thin coat that I can actually see um, light coming through the chocolate don't know I can't you can't see it quite there so I do know that definitely needs another coat so that's going to be going into the fridge just to set slightly as I said the SNC chocolate sets really quickly so just balance that in the fridge there we go And let's coat the car. So again, I'm going to pour the chocolate, quite a lot of it, into the mould and we're just going to wiggle it around. Bit of a shake, because I want to make sure I'm getting all the bits of the car. Now again, we do know so I have my spatula there, so I just want to make sure that I'm getting up the sides before I tip the chocolate out, because with it being the wheel arches, I want to make sure it's getting into the wheel arches okay. And again, this will have a second coat as well. So that is covered all round. So what I'll do now is we'll tip that out. Again, I'm just scraping down because I'm just making sure it's nice and put that in the fridge in a moment that way up and then let's just coat this bottom so I filled that quite full because I want to get that into every because that's the base so I filled that quite full so then all I'm going to do now is tip that out just going to clean and then I'm going to put that in the fridge now I'm going to clean that little bit up there, that little bit, just because I don't want the, I don't want the mould to stick together later where I can't get it out. So I just want to make sure that I've got it clean around the edge. So I've got those two parts like that. So I'm going to put those into the fridge now to set. The bike should nearly be ready to coat again now. So it is quite a thin coating on that motorbike, so I'm going to fill it completely again. And you know what, if I can still see it looking thin, I'll coat it again because it's, it's so easy to do. So I filled that nearly to the top. You can tell it's lovely and tempered because look at that, it just sticks to the board. It's set already on the board, so I've got little pellets on the board. That's how great this SNC tempered chocolate is. So again, bring the bowl closer to me. Wayne is wondering if um, only the chalk is still around, or whether you've replaced him. He didn't say that. No, <laughs> no, he's uh, been really busy, and he's just had. Uh, he's just got a new baby. A new baby is a first time dad. Uh, Kimberly and Ollie, is it Kim? Sorry, Kim and Ollie had a lovely little girl and they called her Romy, Romy Star. She was born um, on the 13th of June. So I can still see a little bit 
of light there and it's only it's very slight now so I just want to set that again and then just give that another coating so I want to make sure the bike's not going to break when we bring it out of the fridge the car has nearly nearly set so I'll be able to do the car again in a moment for you that's it that's the the greatness of this chocolate look at that it's just set already on here So I just thought I'd do this for you as um, do this for you as we're waiting for 15 minutes. I had to wait 15 minutes for them to bake and then 15 minutes for the uh, pineapple side down cakes to cool. So rather than sing to you, I'd rather just show you a bit of chocolate. What do you reckon, Simon? Is that the um, best deal? Give us a sing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Should we do it? What would, what would you sing? I'm just waiting for the top to. Uh, I'm just waiting. So I'm just waiting for the top part of the car to uh, set a bit more. But I've got a lovely matte finish on this bottom bit now. But I do want to give it another coat because I don't. I want the, to make sure that the wheels. You don't want the wheels falling off. We don't want the wheels falling off. That's um, you put that so good, then Simon. So that is lovely. Now if you wanted to, you're really unsure, you could leave it as a solid bottom. It's a lot of chocolate in there. But if you could leave it as a solid bottom if you wanted to, if you was a bit thinking the um, the wheels might fall off or you might have done a bit of things. So you can leave it as a solid block and use it like that. But it'll be a devil. I'm pouring it out, but I am leaving. I'm leaving a lovely layer in there so you can still see that I've poured a lot of it out because you can still see the wheel arches but I've just left a little bit more in there I've poured the majority out just so that I know I've got a lovely bottom to the car and these are great on any tops of cakes or you can do it on the cake board or just give them as a present and you can put you can decorate them up you can luster them you can then write the person's name on the top if you wanted to you could even try and do initials uh, try and do a bit of a veg plate and put initials on it. Yeah. So put that back uh, Wayne the says, I prefer carrying the chop anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> you know me, though, I do love playing with chocolate. I think I've found, I found my true calling. It's chocolate. What's not to love about chocolate? So I want to give this a good coat because I want to make sure that this really does come out coated and the cooler this chocolate goes it goes a little thicker as well so this is how I want it and that's why you don't want the chocolate too hot because you will find it quite runny and that's why we probably have to do about three coats on the motorbike because it was probably a little bit too warm but it doesn't matter so Linda Miles just dropped off a vegan cake so she's a bit late has she missed much nothing I've uh, not missed anything have you <laughs> You've just missed me making my, my vegan pan of upside down cakes. You're in time to see them come out. But you are in time to see them come out, you are. So I'm just making sure that that is all coated. I love this so I can just get this coated. Just get my little palette knife again up the sides just to make sure that all the wheel arches are coated. So detailed that one, isn't it? It is, and the one good thing about this is it's when you... Um, Bear with me a second. When you luster, I can hear your vegan upside down cakes. I can hear you. When you luster it, it brings all the detail of the car out. So I just want to empty this out. Again, I've left just a little bit. It's in the. It's more in the roof. Just going to make sure it's going round there. And that's give that a really good shake around. I've got a really good coating on that. Oh, don't stop that beeping. I am going stopping the beeping. I'm going now. Just was in a. I was in a very crucial time there. Oh, <laughs> that was very crucial. We don't want to hear your excuses. Yeah, they're fine. 
So is this chocolate on the website at the moment? Or it is. Or out of stock? No, it's, we've got plenty. We've got, it's the, it's the milk chocolate and the white chocolate, the tempered chocolate. The, the white SNC tempered white, SNC tempered milk are in stock. Carol's trying to get hold of the dark. The supplier was out of stock of the dark, but she is still trying to get hold of the dark for you. But this uh, milk chocolate and the white chocolate, we've got plenty in stock. It's absolutely amazing. Let's get the bag out again. Here we go. So the bike's nice and dry. Inside. But again, I'm not happy because I can still see uh, light shining through the chocolate. I don't want to see light shining yeah, through the chocolate. Can, I'm not happy. So you know what? Doesn't matter. Let's fill it again. We can't see what you're doing. There's no, there's no, <laughs> there's no rule to say you can only do two coats. You do the coats until you can't see any light coming through that mould. As I said, the cooler this SNC chocolate goes, the thicker it's going. So it's coating it more. Let's get that down there. There we go, that bit there. And I'm going to turn it round so I can get this side. Let's go down there. And then if I tip it out straight over there, I've got that side as well. I'm just going to leave that just to drain out. There we go, and now, now I'm happy. Now I'm happy because I can't see, and I'm just cleaning this top bit off here, because I want to make sure that it's gonna come out okay. So I'm making sure, as you can see, I'm making sure that on these crease bits here, I'm just getting rid of the chocolate so it doesn't set, because that's where I'm gonna be, that's where you would struggle. If you've got chocolate down there, you would struggle getting it out. I've got a lovely coating of chocolate all the way along I've got a nice edge to it now a lovely edge so I'm gonna let that set as I said it's cooling down already so it is it is practically setting already and I've cleaned all the edges up so I know once this is set and ladies and gentlemen how do you know when your chocolate has set in your mold answers please <laughs> just so that I know you've been watching my chocolate lives <laughs> Lynn got it <laughs> Lean got it, come on. It goes wide. <laughs> That's not quite. That's it. <laughs> Anybody speaking to me yet? Anybody? It goes opaque, says Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Yes, you will know it. You'll know your chocolate has started to set because the outside of the mould there, it starts to have like a bit of a milky opaque colour. That is only because your chocolate has set and has started to come away from your mould. Until you get that colour. Don't try and take it out of the mould. Yeah. Remember, don't be impatient just because you're on a live. No, don't be. Try and take it out too early. All right, so I did that a few weeks ago. <laughs> Do you know? So this time you have to really make sure it goes nice and <laughs> nice and opaque, and you know it's it's completely set, and then we can take it out of the mould. So let's just put this I'm into the fridge. I'm not here to make yourself easier, Karen. You're not kidding. No. Claire, I need you back. Come and sort him out. <laughs> Yeah, so we've, yeah, a lot of people, no, they've all been watching you, Karen. They have? Yeah, they've all been watching you. Well done, everyone. So I just want to clean this one up. Did, have I given this two coats, by the way? I think I have. No. Given that two. Yeah, so it starts coming away. It goes, up, goes milky or opaque. So I'm just going to give this one. See, look at that now. That started to set already. It's going all thick. Good enough Ooh. to go on a spoon. But do you know what? Let's put that in the microwave. Just melt that down a little bit. I want to give the inside of this car just a quick coat that I can stick the bottom of the car onto it. And we can try and get it out as a full car. Here we go. So that's just had... 12 seconds it's starting to come over the bowl so I just want to actually give that again and because it's already melted once I'm not overdoing it so I'm only doing it like 10 seconds 12 seconds at a time because I don't want it to catch because there's not as much chocolate in that bowl now so I don't want it to catch 
but there's no there's no uh, limits on how many times you can remelt tempered chocolate. You can just keep remelting it until you've used it. What happens with the fridge door? That would keep things nice and cool in there. So there we go. Got some nice chocolate there. The bottom of the bowl is lovely and cool. I'm going around the sides just to get the chocolate off the sides. And the chocolate, once you've finished using it, get it uh, clean all your sides down. Get it, and you can tip it into a Ziploc bag or into a little plastic container if you wanted to. And you can just put it in your cupboard then, and then just remelt it down next time. So that's all. Straight into the car. There we go. And quickly up the sides. There we go. I'm making sure I'm getting the sides here because I want to be able to stick the bottom of the car on. I've got the right yet, the wheels are all matching, and then put these clips on. And if it doesn't quite stick and it comes away a little bit, we just melt this chocolate down into a piping bag and we just pipe it on. So that's going to go into the fridge like that now to go nice and opaque colour so that I know the chocolate has set and it's coming away from the mould. Okay. Milky, it is like a milky opaque, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it? but opaque's not. Yeah. It's really, technically, it's not opaque. Just let me clean technically this. Technically, it's translucent. Okay. I was, I was just backing up Wendy, Wendy Harris, because she's the only one who actually said translucent. <laughs> so there we go. Because the board was nice and clean, I've just scraped my chocolate into the bowl, into the bowl, and we'll just clean this up. And let's see how. Pan up upside down, Kate, see if they'll come out the tin. Because that's always my fear and alive as well, that everything gets stuck inside a tin. <laughs> what? Claire Colbert said, oh my God, Simon. I don't know. <laughs> Claire, when you're back in the kitchen next, is he? <laughs> when, when you're back, when you're back. <laughs> I'm going to sort him out. So just bear with me a second. So I've got these. I'm just going to get a little palette knife and just go down the sides just to help it. my very diddy one so I haven't got that so I'm just helping that along just along there as you can see it's coming away from the side just try not to I don't want to pierce the cake Claire's going to sort you out when she comes back next time. <laughs> yeah. Right, she is. A special request from me. Here we go, please. Let's play drums. <laughs> Oh, 
have some gorgeous and um, and with using the brown sugar and the uh, margarine it's it's coated the tops of the pineapples so they really are a gorgeous caramelly coated pineapple and down the sides as well remember you just saw me um you, it's not you saw me dribbling you trying to get it out then be really careful very carefully just around I didn't scrape down it I just moved it a little bit away from the sides of the tin and then you do have to jiggle the tin don't panic give it a right good you know drums on the top practice your drumming and then just wiggle it a little bit and look at that how they've popped out because that is you've greased the tin with the dark brown sugar and the margarine don't they look good so then you can serve these uh, with ice cream you could serve them with fresh cream if you wanted to or you could serve them with good old custard well done so how do they look fantastic yep mm. well done Cameron so wow. I'm just going to put those to one good side and delicious beautiful they smell amazing I must admit they smell absolutely lovely it's because we've used the pineapple flavoured icing sugar in the sponge but then the cooked pineapple with uh, with a sticky like caramel on the top it always oh Lynn's, Lynn's drooling here yes, yes. <laughs> Lynn is drooling so let's put these out of the way then I can just move I'll just move these to the side like that you did look very relieved did I? <laughs> Did you notice? <laughs> it's just, when I first did it, I couldn't feel it going. Then suddenly I just felt it go and I thought, wow. There's always that fear of the lie that something's not coming out of the tin. I've done them so many times that they've come out of the tin, but I always have that one fear that one day they're just not going to come off the tin. So they are... Valerie Hendry asks, could you put a circle of grease proof at the bottom of the tin? No, because you won't. Get I don't know if you. I don't know if you get the caramelisation. I mean, you, you'd have to then put the. Then you have to coat the grease proof with the um, the margarine and the sugar, and that's what makes me wonder: would that then stick the grease proof paper if it got underneath it? Please feel free to try. But they came out that tin once I'd done that little bit of just. It's just releasing it around the top and a little bit yeah, of wiggling, and the, they came it's not out. The that's sticking, no, it's it, it, it is the sides that sticks. The bottom's absolutely fine. They they get they were coming out. It was like these. It's let me just bring it here. It's these sides here because it's got a gorgeous coating. I mean, you can see at the front there. It's got the lovely coating of the caramel because it's brown sugar and margarine. It was just that little bit at the bottom there. So it was releasing that very bottom bit and um, just like that then I could then I could feel that the cake was with cake was coming away from the rest of the sides deeper in the tent perfectly and you say it's just that very top bit here where it's dried in the ovens remember it's still dead moist down at the bottom but it had just dried a little bit at the top there and that's where it had got stuck so they have come out perfect let's just see how the bike's doing remember you have to be patient So not quite. So I'm just waiting again because I want to be patient. So what I'm going to just show you now is I'm just going to show you these from yesterday. So I've got these stored in my box. So these were what we did yesterday. The gorgeous rainbow mould and the car mould. And then we lusted them. So these two moulds are on the website as well. We've got the rainbow mould. And we've got the car mold, which has got eight. I'll put it on that side there so you can see. So it's got eight cars in there. Absolutely brilliant. And then the rainbow mold has got the one rainbow and it has six mini rainbows. So I'll put that there. So then I painted. I lusted that one with the dust just lustering it onto white chocolate. This was milk chocolate, so I used our wonder dust and mixed it down with a dipping solution and then painted. Uh, just painted different colours on the rainbow and then the cars some were milk chocolate some were white chocolate and then I coloured some of the white chocolate can I find it? it's always the last one isn't it? where have you gone? there the last, the last two, look at that so then I used our new colour mill, the autumn colours I used the latte 
and the rust colour in the colour mill to show you how much it coloured the chocolate beautifully so then when I've done those cars I then lustered them up with our wonder dust and look how shiny they are I can see the shine off the camera there and same with the rainbows I left a couple white just to well one was lustered a little bit white but I left the rest uh, like a gorgeous ruby rose purple haze where's Simon gone? I'm here <laughs> purple haze uh, that had a bit of the pearl on it I've got uh, ruby rose there I've got shimmer pink there and then because it's for photographs I also left uh, a white one and a milk chocolate one just so you could see the actual shine on the chocolate as well so as I said these moulds are on the website already and they're absolutely amazing let's put these away killing time people I'm killing time freezer in it for me. We'll just let's put these in the freezer just to speed process up. It's starting to go already but let's just um, let's just speed it up. So you do put the chocolate in the fridge but because I want you to see the chocolate shut in the fridge door now uh, I want you to see the chocolate I've just put it in the freezer it'll be three or four minutes in the freezer and I know it'll go no opaque and we can get it out okay. Usually you would leave your chocolate in the moulds. I'd leave them a good half an hour to an hour in the fridge to make sure they'd fully set, fully gone oh, uh, fully gone milky on the on the mould so then you know it's going to slip out lovely. So let's just leave them in the freezer for a minute. I'll just show you um, a couple of lollies I did yesterday. A couple of hearts. <laughs> Here we go, so we've got the, uh, let's take these off here. So I've got, I use that lovely new mould that we've got there, which is the full, this one. So this is a new mould on the website as well. It's the small, it's a, I think I was called it the small zigzag, it's a four cavity one. So you can make some gorgeous little mini lollies. Um, I've got cake pop mix in these for those who watched me yesterday and who do who haven't seen me. I've done uh, I did a lovely coating. I put it in with some vanilla sponge and uh, buttercream and made it into a cake pop mix. Filled the cake, filled the chocolate shell with the cake pop mix, and then put a lovely. See, they've been in the boxes with all the different colours. I put a lovely coating on the back. Um, that's that one and then that's our new heart mould which is the eight one which is this one and you get eight hearts there again I did solid I did solid ones filled with cake pops and then I did some gorgeous uh, hollow ones so you could put these on top of uh, on top of a cake if you were decorating it or you could put little treats under sat on underneath you could actually um, do these hearts and you could turn them that way up and fill them with some mousse and have them as, a, as their own dessert so you could have those as, as, your, as a, a disposable dish so people could eat the whole lot you could have the mousse inside there or even put a couple of blobs of ice cream inside a blob of ice cream in there and someone's got you've got chocolate and ice cream there's loads of different ways of using these moulds and what I do want to do possibly on Monday I think I did say yesterday I'd do it on Monday because the summer season is here so on Monday I was thinking of making our gorgeous chocolate do the chocolate shells in here and let's make sugar and crumbs ice cream live on air which I'll have to make some already because I want them set but make some sugar and crumbs ice cream on air fill it so it's nice and flat rather than letting it set and then trying to scrape it out to fill the ice cream we could pour the sugar and crumbs ice cream mix straight into these molds into the chocolate shell wait for them to set in the freezer and then you can coat the back of them and we could have some as lollies and some as chalk ices so I was thinking of doing that on Monday to show you the two different ways of doing the chalk ices and the ice lollies and you know we could have a foot warm I love this the paw print one I mean look at this Everyone loves this. I know a lot of us who are doggy lovers, we love this. Imagine having that as a gorgeous chalk ice or as, a, a, as an ice cream lollipop. The children will absolutely love these if you're doing them. And then you can still 
decorate them up. Even if it's a nice ice lolly, you can quickly, before you're going to serve it, you could dust it with a bit of um, dust if you wanted to, or a little bit of edible glue on the paws, and you could just stick a couple of little sprinkles on if you wanted to. So we're going to do that and have a really good play on Monday with these. That's Monday's life sorted. Who likes my chocolate cupboard? This is my very own, my very own chocolate cupboard. I've got all my moulds in there, I've got my chocolate in there, and then you can't see it, but in this one that I'm opening there, that's my baking cupboard. I've got all my flowers in there and uh, my baking powders, things that I need like that. But I've, um, I'm, uh, my icing sugars are in a different part. I've got my big tub of velvet vanilla icing sugar there. So I love it. I've got my own little bit. I can get to it straight away. Let me just check the motorbike because the motorbike was very nearly done. <laughs> Simon's going. Mm. I'm not sure you're being very patient there. Yes, I have. It's gone. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell. I think on the the uh, that bit there. The, the oil tank or the, or the, the cylinder heads. It's got the oil tank there. That one there. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. The other side stuck. No, I haven't tried it yet. Oh, he's such a terror. <laughs> Upside down and then just gently. Oh, it's gone. It's all right. There we go. I'll bring that there like that. Look. He had no faith in me, did he, ladies and gentlemen? And look at that. We have a perfect bike. Look, can you see the shine on that SNC tempered milk chocolate there? You can see the lights, can't you? And the, the camera's into that. That is absolutely brilliant. And what I will do, because I'm just waiting for the Porsche. I'm waiting for the Porsche just to go a bit milky. I'm not taking that out too soon. So what we will do, I love this, but I love this as the shine. So anybody who wants to leave it as the shine, it's great. But let me just give that a quick lust drop in one colour. Just so that you can see, for the people who don't know about this mould, you can see all the fine detail come out on this chocolate. So into my wonder dust. My brushes. Everything is now labelled in our cupboards. It's brilliant. My little tin. So where is what um deep rich gold lustre so a little bit in there yes i know i should be using my spoon but i will get it back into there in a bit so i've got my dusting brush knock it off look at that Can you see all the detail on that bike? Sorry, motorcycle. So you can see that. Now I've done that, you can see all the detail come up, doesn't it? It's absolutely amazing. So we'll just turn it on its side a little bit. Down to the wheels. Oops, don't you go nowhere. Not when I got you out of there in one piece. And then we'll quickly just turn him over. So look at that. What do you think of that motorcycle mould? And doesn't it bring up the detail excellent when you've lustered it? And that's just the plain wonder dust. That's our deep gold, our deep rich gold there. And look at that. 
think anybody would love that just as a present you could put that in a lovely gift bag or gift box and just uh, you could just hand that out as a present or you could use it as a topping from top of your cake because it stands up beautifully so we have that one there so no messing about Karen see what the poor she's doing <laughs> Sam just keeps giggling. That's not ready. Oh, it might be. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I do, I do think this is... It has gone white. So we'll just move my bike out of the way a moment. Take my clips off. Now, remember, this may come away from the bottom. I did say to you, it can come away from the bottom. But all we have to do is just melt our chocolate again. A little bit in a piping bag. Pipe around the edge. So you're looking for where your little finger marks is. I just get them in here a little bit. I just want to do it very carefully. Ooh. Tops off. Shiny. Shiny car. Now what I'm going to try and do is turn it over. Nope. So what you do now is don't panic. You then crack open. Come on out. It wants to because it's coming away there, but I'm <laughs> there. We go. There we go. And then I will turn that over. And you actually can. I don't want to melt it uh, on a warm plate. If I melt it on a warm plate, I'll lose some of the definition of the wheel. So I'm just going to put this chocolate into the microwave. Get my little piping bag out of the cupboard. I love using these thin ones because I can tie a knot in it and I have a lot more control then over where I put the chocolate. So put that over there. Move that mould and move that mould. Keep everything nice and tidy. I can get rid of this spare chocolate. I can put that back into the bowl in a moment. I just want to make sure that that's okay there. So where I've got little bits here, I'm just going to break that little bit off. Because that was a spare bit from around the side. I want the car to be nice and level. Well, let's have a see where we go to here. But I only want a little bit. Yet yeah, that's still nice and cold. But I do, I need it to be runny, but not too hot. There we go. So I'm just going to give that a good mix there just to make sure I've got no lumps because if I've got a few if I've got lumps in there it'll stick in the bottom of my piping bag. Um, Pam, I don't think so. She's asking could you use a hairdryer to warm the edges to join the top and the bottom? I, I think you'd be melting the whole more than you want to there. Yeah, I think you would and that's why I could, like I said before, you can use um, use a hot plate but I don't want to lose the definition of the wheel hook where the wheel arches are. And I think if you did it too long on the on the hot plate, like I've done before, I've shown you on a nice on a nice warm plate, I think we would lose the definition. So we've got a little bit of chocolate into there. Squeeze down. Now I want the smallest hole in this bag. Because I want to have some good control over it. And I'm gonna go around this top edge. And uh, I'm just going inside the cake, but uh, inside the um the car, but no one's going to see inside the car. And if my hands go a little bit unsteady and it goes on the outside, I'll just give that a quick wipe. And a little bit there just went. This is where Ollie probably had steadier hands than me. So I've got that like that, and then I want to. Make sure that's the... You want to be very quick. It's not that being very quick, it's making sure I put it on the right you way. You do want the, you know, you do yeah. want the engine in the right place. Yeah, you do want the engine in the right place. So I'm going to do that like that. Then all I'm going to do now is just move it over a little bit. There we go. And any holes that I've got there, I can just fill them in. And as it goes, as it goes uh, thicker, the chocolate, Where's my, where's my little, there it is. If it goes thicker, I can just wipe that off. I, I, I usually wear a glove like that. Wipe it off. Now 
and it's once it's nice and smooth we can then luster that up and then no one can ever tell where you've mended your car now I know it's warm in here because my hands are boiling just bear with me a second Not what I need to do because my hands are so warm I'll put my glove on this helps retain some like stop the heat escaping and melting my chocolate down I know I squeezed my car a little bit too much on that corner so this will get melted down and made again I just want to show you there that we can mend things you see use my glove just Um, use my glove to smooth it down there we go it's nice and smooth it's set nicely I've just got that down just want to make sure if I had my little see little little palette knife and you're just scraping that chocolate down so it's nice and smooth there we go still got definition there And then what we'll do is put them onto there and choose a different colour. We can't go gold again, so let's go um, Ruby Rose. try and wear some gloves when you are dusting your car just to keep any fingerprints off the car because when you dust it you actually because your hands have been warm you will leave your fingerprints behind it's like a CSI job this isn't it there we go so we've got a lovely car so I'm just going to take that off there any spare chocolate off here I'm not scraping it, but what it is, it's uh, my, my palette knife doing that noise because I want to scrape the chocolate away so I can get everything that we've done today now back onto the board. Got my other green cloth here, there we go. Nice and tidy. Throw everything Simon's way because he's washing up today. He, he, he offered. Think you, Simon? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should for his cheek but you know hey ho so we look at that we've got a gorgeous bike we've got a gorgeous car and we have some vegan pineapple upside down cakes individuals to be served um, with custard with cream or with ice cream so thank you so much for joining me today as I said Monday let's have a play with chocolate again but let's do some ice cream we'll make the sugar and crumbs uh, ice cream with our delicious natural flavoured icing sugars and we'll fill the chocolate shells with the ice cream and then I'll show you how to put the backs on after they've uh, chilled up so I'll make some first thing in the morning get them in the freezer so they're nice and firm so then we can uh, fill those up and then we can decorate them as well so thank you any questions anybody want to ask me anything uh, no can't say anything Just make sure that we're going to fall off there. It was a little bit unsteady then. And Cicely, very kindly. I think you've uh, you've got a challenger for the, the chocolate queen. Who? What? 
Claire Corbett. Has Claire got to challenge me? I think, I think you, you know, I think you, no. No, you, no, you, no. you're not going to win there, Claire. Oh, no, 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 no. Claire, Claire's absolutely fine. So look at that. Cicely left me the little pack of flowers that she used last night on her cake. She says, here, keep those flowers because they were like, so look at that. I can just put. Nice big one on that. Oops. She said that she got these in Marks and Spencers, so look at them with a little bit of you know, little bit of uh, va va voom. <laughs> Put a pizzazz on you, pan the upside down case. Okay. So yeah. how good do they look? So thank you all so very much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you on Monday. And please don't forget, we've got the classes on half price, most of the classes on half price, the ones that are up to March and April, uh, half price. We've got a load of them on the website. So you can start buying those and they're on sale until the end of the month to let you people who are monthly paid uh, manage to take up us up on the offer as well. And look at all the new whipping it up in the new bags on the website we've now got strawberries and cream and coffee flavored whipping it up so we have nine delicious flavors they're on offer well they're on actually on sale at 4.99 we took a pound off the rrp for you so you can purchase them at 4.99 for a 500 gram bag and claire's our macron queen <laughs> <laughs> well brilliant live today anyway karen thank you yes everyone enjoyed it thank you and so, thank you, Simon. And on that, we wish you all a... A very happy Father's Day to all you dads yeah. who are watching. Have a good weekend. And have a really lovely weekend. Thank you, Lynn, for popping in. It was a delight to see you again. Yeah, thank you for having me. And thank you so much for joining me and have a wonderful weekend. Mm -hmm.